Disney movies might fill us with joy, but they also make us ball like babies, but in a good way. This is my family. I found it all on my own. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney moments that made us happy cry. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at touching moments in Disney films and Disney Pixar collaborations that made us cry because of a happy turn of events. I am a Number 10, Ray Becomes a Star, The Princess and the Frog. You got a shot. Don't say much. And I know in my heart, someday we're gonna be together, yeah. It's hard not to get attached to the sparky little Cajun firefly as he guides Tiana and Naveen through the bayou. His know-how and sense of humor make him instantly lovable. Plus, his romance with Evangeline the star just melts your heart. Especially since it's clearly not meant to be. How you can miss her? She glowing right up there in front of y'all. That's why it's absolutely heartbreaking when the Shadow Man kills Ray. However, just when all seems lost, everyone looks to the sky and sees Ray join his belle Evangeline. What's even more touching is it looks as if the two stars are holding hands. What were once tears of sadness turn to tears of joy as we realize the impossible love of Ray and Evangeline is actually meant to be. Number 9. Dory reunites with her parents, finding Dory. Hello. I'm Dory! Her name is Dory, and she suffers from short-term memory loss. I suffer from short-term memory loss. This is the mantra Dory repeats to herself, even after she loses and forgets her parents. So when Dory suddenly remembers she has a family, the film becomes an emotional roller coaster as she tracks one memory after another to find them. When she follows the seemingly random line of shells to her parents, you can't help but feel joy when Dory finally discovers her parents. Dory, Dory, don't you dare be sorry. Look, look what you did. What? You found us! That's right. It gets even more emotional when Dory learns that they waited all those years in the same spot, hoping one day their kelp cake would find them. And we stayed in this spot for you ever since. Because, because we thought you might come back. They're so proud of her when she does, it's hard to stop the tears. You remembered in your own amazing Dory way. Number eight, Mulan comes home, Mulan. She left home and joined the army to bring honor to us all. Born into a society that values sons over daughters, Mulan struggles to show that she can be just as valuable without conforming to the domestic roles she clearly isn't good at. Fa Mulan. Present. Speaking without permission. Oops. That's why she gets down to business to defeat the Huns, and then lays her spoils of war at her father's feet. By doing all of that, Mulan hoped to show she could be someone her family could be proud of. The tears finally well up when her father tosses the items aside without even looking at them and embraces his daughter, telling her he was always proud of her. The greatest gift and honor is having you for a daughter. I've missed you so. I've missed you too, Baba. Number seven, Riley shows how she really feels, inside out. For one reason or another, we've all buried what we're really feeling deep down inside us. And that's exactly why this scene strikes a chord with so many of us. It's the moment where Riley comes home after trying to run away. Her teacher hasn't even seen Riley all day. What? What was she wearing last year? You even remember what? Riley! Riley. There you are. Thank oh, goodness. we were worried sick. Where have you been? It's so late. Uh. She breaks down in tears and tells her parents that she doesn't like San Francisco as she led them to believe, but really misses home. To Riley's surprise, though, her parents let her know that she's not alone in her homesickness. They also miss the home where Riley made so many of her childhood memories. Spring Lake, where you learned to skate. Come here. In that moment, Riley learns that it's okay to be sad, and sadness and joy finally learn to work together. Number six, Ariel gets her legs back, the Little Mermaid. Then I guess there's just one problem left. And what's that, your majesty? How much I'm going to miss her. We
We have to assume that most dads would at least lose their tempers if their daughter wanted to change species to be with a guy. So is Triton blowing up Eric's statue and yelling at Ariel for loving him really that much of an overreaction? Yes, it probably is. However, when Eric saves Ariel from Ursula, Triton realizes that this fish eater might not be such a bad guy. She really does love him, doesn't she, Sebastian? To show his daughter how much he loves her, Triton gives Ariel her legs back so she can be part of that world. It's a sweet father-daughter moment where Dad realizes that his little girl is growing up and ready to leave the cove. Really, all he wants is for her to be happy. Number 5. Aladdin uses his last wish for Genie. Aladdin. Genie, you're free! It turns out that Genie ain't never had a friend like Aladdin. Genie is all ready to turn Aladdin back into a prince. That's why Aladdin's third wish catches him completely off guard. Even though Aladdin promised Genie his freedom when they met. It's a gift that's worth more than the world to Genie, but one he's unlikely to receive. Or so he thought. What do you need? What do you need? To be my own master. Such a thing would be greater than all the magic and all the treasures in all the world. Genie's excitement and disbelief at his newfound freedom are enough to warm even the coldest of hearts. Quick, quick, wish for something outrageous. Say, I, I want the Nile. The fact that Aladdin gives up his chance at true love and royalty to end his friend's eternal servitude makes it even more touching. Genie, I'm, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Aladdin's final wish gives Genie a whole new world and a whole new life. No matter what anybody says, you'll always be a prince to me. Number 4. Wally Gets Rebooted Wally. Eve and Wally are two robots that will make you believe in humanity again. Wally's so persistently positive that he even wears Eve down and basically teaches a fellow robot to love. <laughs> When Wally gets electrocuted and crushed, you can't help but pray Eve can make it to Earth in time to save him. But when Wally reboots, he doesn't remember Eve or anything else beyond his job. It's tear-jerking to watch as Eve and the cockroach try to jog Wally's memory with no success. Wally? When Eve's just about to give up, Wally suddenly remembers, holds hands with Eve, and calls her name. Cue the happy tears. Eve? <laughs> Number 3. Rapunzel Meets Her Parents – Tangled It would seem that mother doesn't always know best, especially when that mother isn't actually your mother. Honestly, it's pretty upsetting to see Rapunzel's abusive relationship with Mother Gothel. Especially since Rapunzel's loving parents have spent 18 years looking for their child by releasing the lanterns, desperately hoping she's still alive. It's devastating to see the king and queen's faces as they're about to release the lanterns, because it's clear the loss of their baby still affects them as deeply as it did so many years ago. So when mother, father, and daughter are reunited, you can't help but smile that Rapunzel's finally found the family she deserves, and her parents have finally got their daughter back. <laughs> Number 2. Circle of Life – The Lion King It's a song that moves us all. It's so iconic, everyone belts out the first words, even if they have no clue what they're saying. Circle of Life is a perfect soundtrack for the scene where a newborn Simba takes his place in the Circle of Life. The musical buildup is intense, and the visuals are equally impressive showing us the members of the Pride Lands coming together to celebrate this momentous birth. And when that title card pops onto the screen, we couldn't be more excited for what's to come. It's only fitting that the song comes back at the end of the film, when Simba and Nala welcome a bundle of joy of their own. Before we 
unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You really don't know anything about love, do you? Olaf, you're melting. Some people are worth melting for. Number one, Andy gives his toys a new home. Toy Story 3. Now, you gotta promise to take good care of these guys. They mean a lot to me. Bring on the nostalgia. This third installment of the Toy Story franchise definitely hits you right in the childhood. Whether it's Woody and the gang being accidentally given away, Lotso's story, or the incinerator, this movie certainly has its ups and downs. But when Andy gives his toys to Bonnie, it's hard to tell if you should cry or smile. On the one hand, it's great that the toys have a new home where they'll be treated well. On the other hand, they're leaving Andy after having spent his entire childhood with him. Thanks, guys. If you weren't crying earlier in the movie, then Woody's so long partner will certainly send you over the edge, as Andy and his toys part ways. So long, partner. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.